Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Fund. My name is William Juma. In this video, I would like us to talk about export actions in filament PHP. Export actions enables us to export rows in Excel format, that is CSV or the XLSX format. And um, so for us to be able to do that, we need to do a setup and that is what I would like us to just work on. I have a new filament uh, installation and in this case we will be using the users table because at least we can be able to generate some users using the user factory and then we can be able to use them to export them to Excel and we see how it's going to be. This feature uses or depends upon database notifications and it also depends upon uh, job batches. I know database notifications, I have a video that I've been able to talk about how you can be able to work with the database notifications in Filament PHP. But um, in this case, in whatever it is that we're going to talk about today, you do not need so much knowledge about that because most of the things will be done in the background. So we, we, we are going to create two tables. So the first one is uh, the batches. So I'm going to have PHP artisan make q hyphen batches hyphen table and it seems that the q batches table already exists so that is okay we also need to create the notifications table so i will run php artisan make notifications hyphen table after that we will go ahead and um, also publish the action migrations. So I'm going to run the command PHP artisan vendor publish. We are going to tag filament hyphen actions hyphen migrations. We have been able to copy several migrations also. And then lastly, we are going to do PHP artisan migrate. But before we do that, I would like to just show you the extra tables that um, or extra migrations that we have added so I just to like to extend so we have the job batches I think this one was originally there that's what it do, did not do the migration and then we have notifications we have imports we have exports and we have failed import rows so basically those are the additions that uh, our commands have been able to assist us to have after that, we are going to run PHP. Let me just clear. We are going to run PHP artisan migrate to migrate those tables. I would also want to generate some users in our database seeder. So I will open uh, database migrate database and then seeders. Uh, then you open database seeder. I would just like to uncomment this one such that we can be able to create some number of users. I have changed this to 100. So that is what I would like us to create. So probably we have 101 users. So I can just run PHP artisan db full colon seed to create uh, that number of users in our table. I would also want to go ahead and create the user resource because that is where we will be having our export action. So PHP artisan make filament uh, hyphen resource. And then I'm going to have user resource. And then maybe we can say generate such that it will also get for us the fields. I would like to go to our app filament user resource and inside here inside the user resource I would like to just omit some of uh, the fields that is the email verified at and then we will also omit uh, email verified at from this other side but it's not a big issue really so if we are to refresh now, we will be having our user resource here. I would like us now to go ahead and create 
our exporter. So what it is that I'm going to do, again, we will run uh, an artisan command, php artisan make filament exporter. And then we will put the name of the exporter. So in this case, our exporter is just user exporter. So you hit enter. And now we will create the user exporter inside our app filament directory. So now we have app filament, then we have uh, resources, and we have a new directory that is called export. So let us open the user exporter. And sometimes you can be able to just go ahead and uh, do generate automatically such that it can um, do uh, create the columns for you. So I do not know if we should try that. Maybe I can uh, remove it. Do we try that? So let me just delete it and then forgive my shortcuts and then go ahead and create the exporter and then hyphen hyphen generate like that. When we hit enter, again, we are going to create the user exporter. But this time round, it has the columns that we will be exporting. So as you can see, when we add the flag generate, then it's able to give us every other thing that we have. But of course, you can see the password field is not included. So that is a good thing. And then down here, we have the completed notification. So it you say your export has completed, blah, 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 like that. And here we are importing the user model. And then above here, we are having the helpers, the filament helpers that uh, we need for us to, to have what we have here. So basically that is that. I would like us to um, go back to our user resource and maybe just look at uh, the table that um, we have here. Before we, we go to other things maybe we can just talk about whatever it is that we have in the user exporter inside here now these are the columns that we will be exporting to our excel or our csv file and as you can see for the export column um, id we are passing in a label so even for every other column here you can be able to pass in a label for example say label uh, name like that so this will be the labels for the columns of our csv file so you can be able to go ahead and do that let us go ahead and display a button in our list users head action and so above here is where i want us to have the export the button so for us to be able to include it in our in our table, we will go to our user resource below here. And among whatever it is that you're having below here, the filters, actions, bulk actions, I would like to add header actions. So I will just chain below here, then pass in an array. And inside here, we can now have our export action. So export action make. And then we will chain the exporter and inside here we pass in our class so in this case user i believe our exporter is called user exporter like that so the user exporter class and just like that we are able to display it so i will import the filament tables actions export action and then we will also ensure that the user exporter is also imported above here so we have user exporter and we have the export action so after that i would like to refresh and see what happens seems i've not been able to save so let me save again and refresh and now we have export users you can be able even to pass in even an image to it or an icon maybe an excel icon for it to be displayed a little bit more nicely and so we are almost uh, there. There is one thing I expect to see, which is uh, the notification icons icon here. And I'm not able to see it. So I believe we need to 
implement it in our panel. So you go to providers, app providers, then uh, filament, admin service provider. And we will change something here, which is called database notifications. After we do that, if we come back and refresh, we are now able to have our notification icon above here, which now shows that um, we are almost there. The next thing that I need to do is to have my queue running for us to be able to see if we can be able to export our users. So I'm going to run PHP artisan. We just clear such that I type it well. PHP artisan queue work. Now hit enter. Now it will be waiting for the jobs. And now I want us to try and export users. So you click on export users. Now it's asking us which fields do we want. And you can see most of them are ticked by default. So we can remove the ones that we want to remove. And, but there are customizations where you can be able to choose which ones you want to be ticked and which ones you don't want to be ticked and so on and so forth. So if we desire to have the ID, name and email, so we are going to click on export. And then a job you'll be run in the background. So as you can see in our queue worker, there are things that are happening. And we will be notified. It's, it says your export has begun. One or two rows will be processed in the background. You will receive a notification with a download link when it is complete. So I would like us to just uh, close that one. And as you can see, we already have a link here. And it says your export has is completed. You can download as CSV and you can download as XLSX, so the Excel version. So whichever way you want, you can be able to download. And this can be able to pro process as many rows of a document as it can. So even if you have a very big user's table, it will take maybe some minutes. But then at the end of everything, whenever it is done, then you can be notified. There are many customizations that you can be able to do to this uh, feature such that you can be able to get the best of whatever it is that you want. To be able to do that, you can just visit filamentphp.com and then check export action. There are many customizations that you can be able to perform in your application. So I want us to try and download and see what we have. Now we have a file that has been downloaded. I want to just click and open it. We see what we have inside the file. So you can see we have ID and then name. You can see we have ID and then name and then email like that. So basically that is that. Of course, the email is spanning several columns. You can be able to just extend that column like that and it should be looking nice. So that is how easy it is to perform Excel exports in Filament PHP. In our next video, probably we will look at imports. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, please consider giving us a subscription. And if you have a comment or a burning issue, you can share and shoot in the comment section below. We can be able to address and see how we can assist each other. Thank you very much.